Dear esteemed faculty, deans, staff, alumni, family and friends in the audience, family and friends in the homes, and dears of all, dear MIM class of 2022. This is it. We've come to the end. Coming back to the end, I went back to the beginning. I took a look at the admissions letter I wrote once I applied to becoming part of the institution that is in Seattle. A decision I made after having spent two weeks at an INSEAD summer camp in 2019. I first heard about INSEAD from my dad, but I did not understand what it was before I came myself. In the short time I was at the school, I learned more about myself and the world of business than I had anywhere else before. I saw the gift of INSEAD that creates strong networks between strangers where most have little in common, for some not even a country fellow. But after the same time spent at INSEAD, got everything in common. The two weeks I spent there was one of the greatest experiences of my life, and I can only imagine how a year would be. Now I don't have to imagine anymore. The years passed, and it was one of the greatest experiences in my life. But why is that? How is it still the same feeling after two weeks, after a year, or after 25 years with this school? David and I, sitting in the poi garden, looking at the small turtles, came up with one answer. It's the INSEAD bond. It's the INSEAD bond that gets us the alumni to answer our emails and guide us toward the right career trajectory. It's the INSEAD bond that gives us coffee roulette chats with MBAs and potentially sparks an idea for your future unicorn or becomes a catalyst for change in your workplace. It is the INSEAD bond that I and my venture competition teammates experienced when we were mentored by one of our classmates' parents, an INSEAD alum to navigate the complex energy industry. It's the INSEAD bond that makes me certain that when I fly to any corners of the world, I can always count on at least having a drink together with one of you. But we have something even stronger. We class, we have the MIM bond. And as Gudrun said earlier, today is the first ever in-person ceremony for MIMS. And we are the pioneers of how our bond should be. And I believe we have succeeded. And in a recent NCAD survey, you were asked about your biggest highlight during your MIM program. The answer, pretty unanimous, the people. Our classmate Tito said it better than we can when he wrote, meeting all the brilliant, humble people along the way. We could have been anywhere in the world doing anything. And with this group, it would have been just as amazing. This is to us the essence of the MIM bond, the MIM bond that you see up there. The fact that we MIMS could be anywhere, doing anything, and with the people in this room, it would have been as amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but how did we come to form this bond? For me, I think it started during launch week, where we all spread across the, gla spread across the grass under the sun in the beer garden in Fortinflow started our 10 picture exercise. For the parents in the room and the people watching at home, the 10 picture exercise is one that, where you in 10 pictures describe your story and your life up until now. In this moment, I learned that Crystal is an extraordinary singer. Man rash opinions on capitalism. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Alessandro's passion for geopolitics and Matteo's gift for writing. I got to learn the people and not just the LinkedIn profiles of the classmates that would be part of this year. I learned these bonds and these, diff and these friendships would be different. And as a year went by, we continued to build that bond. When Patrick gathered us for random lunches. Amrita, Rajuta, Ansofi, Guna and Sujia connected us over Food Fiesta. When Marika, Machir, and Levon gave us gratitude for reciprocity. And not to forget Giannis, Tito, and the superlative night last week. <laughs> the bond extended across cultures. Diwali, Christmas, Lunar New Year, and national dinners. Most places, a Greek, an Indian, and a Chinese walking into a Swiss dinner in a small town in France is a terrible joke. For us, that's Wednesday. A Wednesday night 
where we sit down around a dinner table eating raclette in September and learn that in Switzerland, we do public votes on whether to cut the horns of cows. That we in Greece throw money or no roses at singers. And in Singapore, if we were to carry durian into the MRT, we would get fined. These incredible evenings with our classmates are where we have some of the most valuable takeaways. The cultural awareness, the cultural appreciation. That, in our humble opinion, is essential to our development as future business leaders. And look at this. As we can all see on the slideshow, our class's diversity is a testament to the globalized nature of our private and professional lives. And we must thank Thibaut, Agatha, Angel. Career coaches that make us take the next step, Jean, Emma, and Rox. Our professors. For me especially, Katja and the student life team. The INSEAD gym staffs and all the staff that have facilitated our INSEAD experience, putting us all here today in the same room. On behalf of our class, thank you. And moving forward, we should remember to notice the small facial expressions and micro gestures as we master the art of communication. We should remember how far we came with openness and kindness, how we overcame differences and saw people instead of just the yellow placards. And we should remember the Mimbond. In the world we enter into, we need to work together across cultures, across differences, to solve the pressing challenges of healthcare, equality, climate crisis, and what more to come. So MIM 22, this is it. This is our second beginning. And now is the time to take everything we have learned and together step into the world as responsible leaders of the future. Last, but certainly not least, do not forget the bonds you created this year. Lift each other up in times of low and reach out in times of need. Though we will diverge in our career and will be scattered all around the world, don't be a stranger. Any one of us are only a few clicks away. Thank, Thank you. you.